Leah Tortilla presents. Hey guys, it's me, Leah Tortilla. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make roasted garlic and mushroom soup. Yes, I know, soup is so easy. Why am I doing soup? Well, because it's easy. And not only is this soup really easy, well, soup in general is really easy, but this soup in particular is so delicious. Honestly, you don't want to miss this one. Not only can you have it with dinner, with bread and nice cheese, you can take it to work because it's portable, if you've got the containers for it, of course. You can have it for lunch, you can have it for breakfast if you want. I mean, a bit weird, soup for breakfast, but whatever floats your boat. I think I've rambled on quite enough, so let's get to it. We're gonna start with a drop of oil in the pan. And then we're going to add chopped onion. Surprise, surprise, this dish has got a lot of garlic in it. To roast the garlic bulbs, you take the entire bowl and you slice it right down the middle in half, like that. We're going to stick this on a roasting tray, drizzle it with oil, a bit of rock salt and pepper, we can stick it in the oven for 10 minutes. To demonstrate. garlic to the pan we're going to add two whole cloves of fresh garlic don't worry about chopping it just put it straight in the pan because it's all going to get blitzed up with a hand blender later have your pan on a low heat and keep stirring regularly so that it doesn't catch and burn at the bottom of the pan we're going to peel and chop our carrots and add them to the pot <laughs> Now remember, the smaller you chop your vegetables, the quicker that they're going to cook. Keep stirring. We're going to add a stick of celery. We're going to take off the bottom, we don't want that bit. Take off the tiny bit at the top, and then just slice it as thin as you can. Here's where we move on to the part with the mushrooms. I have three varieties of mushroom. Chestnut, button, and flat field. The reason that I've got three varieties of mushroom is for depth of flavor. Make sure you wash your mushrooms first, because they're pretty dirty. Don't worry about peeling your mushrooms, because the skin adds more flavor and we want as much flavour of the mushroom as we can get, considering it's mushroom soup, you know. With your butter mushrooms, you can either slice them or add them to the soup whole. I'm going to add them to the soup whole, but first I'm going to fry them off in a bit of butter just to get some colour and add flavour. Now that they've started to go a lovely golden brown colour, we can add them to our pot. Along with our other mushrooms, of course. This might sound a little strange, but we're going to add a peeled and diced potato into our soup. Because once the potato is in the soup, it releases its starch and it makes the soup thicker. <laughs> Wow, 
once you dice your potato, you know where it goes. By now, our garlic should be roasted and ready to squeeze. Garlic is roasted. It's smelling really fragrant. We're going to let it cool down and then we're going to squeeze it into the mix. Once your garlic is fully roasted, it should just squeeze out. But if you struggle, you can always just pick it out just as easy as that. And obviously, once you've removed all the garlic, it's time to put that into the pot. Once all of that has sweated down, we're going to add a splash of wine. and some chicken stock. Now, if you're a vegetarian, of course, you can use vegetable stock, but I'm using chicken stock for flavour, or flavour. We're going to give it a stir, and then we're going to bring our soup up to boiling point. Once it reaches boiling point, we'll turn it down to a simmer and leave it for half an hour. Now half an hour has passed, we're going to see if our potatoes are soft enough. We take a spoon, get a potato on it, a knife, and if your knife goes straight through the potato, then it's time to get blitzing. Got my trusty hand blender, now we're going to blend this until it's completely smooth. If you think that your soup is too thick, you can always add some more water. Whoops. Now that our soup is completely smooth, we're going to return it to the heat and add some seasoning to taste. That's good. We're ready to serve. Then we're going to add some double cream decoration. There you have it. Leah tortillas, roasted garlic and mushroom soup. I'm going to have that for dinner with a fresh French baguette and some really tasty cheese. Can't wait. It's going to be delicious. And while we're here, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to my channel. This has been Leah Tortilla. I will see you next week.